So I'm just going to do a short video on uh, paint mixing, uh, which we, I do it on site. I've got in the back of the van all the tinters. So you need them, obviously. Scales, because it's all done on weight. And a laptop, very old laptop, with the uh, software for your paint scheme loaded onto it. I think every single paint scheme works on that basis. So, you know, it doesn't just have to be the one that I use. Uh, mine is a De Beer uh, paint scheme. It's a bit complicated because I think it's also Valspar and I think it's Octorol as well. So you can see on the software there, it's De Beer. Um, it's a solvent based scheme. Uh, obviously there's water based schemes out there nowadays so um, yeah right uh, I'll just stick this on and we'll get mixing so basically to try and run through this simply as I can uh, I've got an ad here metallic blue um, paint code on the ad is it's normally in the boot on a sticker or in the service box uh, in this case it was in the service box which I took a picture of I don't know if you can see that so it always starts with an L so this is L X 5 R so we know we've got the paint code which is a good start so we'll go on to the system car colours, brand, now because it's an ID it's more than likely going to be under Volkswagen, so VW, right then, Let's try and get a close up, up at that, what did we say it was, X5R, Type the code in there, X5R, and that's brought up Moon, I'm presuming that's German, Moonshine Blue, which is also called Blue Lunar Metallic, which is also called, what it says there, Moonlight Blue, uh, Azul Lunar. Blue Luna, 2010. I won't go too much into the updates and stuff. Uh, it's not unusual to find different variants of it. Sometimes there's a whole massive list on there, like a Ford color. It might have, I don't know, it could have 10, 15 different things to choose, but uh, we'll just click on that. Okay. On this system, we then click Barra Base. Okay, so there's the values there. So we've got 511, 561, 599, 559, 519, 505, 501. They're all the different tints what we need, which is all these. So they're all numbered up, so 511's there. Just pull them out, each one. Um, and then I'll show you how to mix them up. Now, quantity, uh, I think that is works out as a tenth of a litre but we don't want that we don't we don't need that much so I'm just going to put 0.5 calculate so that's brought all the values down because it's half it's half the value that it was before because I'm going to mix it up this quantity that's going to fit into this little touch up bottle here and that'll probably be enough to do uh, the two little corner blowings what I've got on this ID, the front bumper and the rear bumper. So, right. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get all these tints out, 511, 5-6-1, 5-9-9, 5-5-9. If 
I'll just look inside that 561, which is the second tint down. I don't know if you can see that very well. It's got like a zeralic colour in it. Like a bit of a pearl. It's always good to do it this way to get them out and line them up because then at least you know you've got the tints and it's probably something you should do at the start of the job before you've started sanding the bodywork down in case you've run out of a tint or if you if there's a problem with the colour or something it's always a good idea to mix the colour up first and then at least you know you've you've got it there and you know you're not going to start working on a car and grinding it down only to realize you can't paint it for some reason 505 and finally 501 which will be a little bit of drop of white at the end okay so we've got all the tints out and this is basically how it works turn the scales on that just does a little countdown 10 seconds we've got a mixing cup just a disposable mixing cup put that on the scales and a bit fading out i can just about see it so the tear T-A-A-R-E, that just takes it back to zero again, 0, 0.00. So what we need to be doing is the 511 black tint, which is the main bulk of this colour, the value of that is 250.5. But what I'm going to do is just put 25 into the mixing cup on the scales. I'll show you how that, it probably sounds complicated, but it's not. Give that a shake, open the tint. Okay, so 25.0, so it's 25 dead on. Okay, so that's that. Next tint is 561 on there, 32.1. So we're going to go from 25 to 32 with that on the scales. Don't know if you can see that colour in there. quite hard to do this while I'm holding this camera. <laughs> 32.1. Try and get as close as we can. It's important that especially mixing these small quantities up, you really have to get it bang on the scales as much as you can because it will affect uh, how it looks when you paint it. There's a little bit of leeway but uh, you want to try and get as close as you can, 32.1. So I'll just show you exactly how that works out on here in a minute, we're just getting close now. Right, let's have a look. So on there I've got 32.12, so it's close enough to 32.1. Next tint, 599. I'll just give them a quick blow to all bits on it. We are straining them afterwards, uh, the tint when it's mixed, so yeah, but it just saves getting any clogs in there. So we've got 39.1. So it's 32.1, so 39. 
so that's close enough so it's 39.1 don't worry about the six it was you've got to get as close to 39.1 as you can so the next one is 559 43.4 559 This one's a bit I've had it for a while so 559 43.4 This one's a bit thicker, I've obviously had it a long while. We're getting close now, we're at 42.8, 43.2, so I have to be really careful now with the last couple of drops. Right, that's that's close enough. So let's have a look. So we've got the value on there, 43.4. On the scales, 43.4. There's a massive blob of black paint where the point is there, it's underneath that, 43.4. So what we've got now, 519, which is a bit of a purple tint. You wouldn't think it, but that blue car out there has got, obviously, a bit of purple in it. Five one nine, forty-five point six. So these last few tints, the values are getting less and less. 45.6. One little drop. So we, that's dead on, 45.6, 45.6, right the final two bits now, uh, 505 which is a blue, big tint of that because it's one that I use quite often, 47.6. You've got to be really careful on these last few tints, you have with all of them really, but just not, not to go overboard. A lot of these colours have got like a drop of white in at the end, just a drop. So we're on 47.6 or as close as, and that one is 47.9. So we're literally putting a couple of a couple of drops of this white in. Got to be really careful. Because this will ruin it if you put too much of this in. Right, so that's that's close enough for me. 47.89, which is basically 47.9. So let's have a look in there. So that's it really. Compressor kicking in. Get out here so we can see the colours.
And that's it really, we're going to thin that down. Um, I don't really measure the thinning down to honest with you. I just go for consistency more than anything. Because sometimes your tints might be thicker because uh, you've had them a long while. Uh, it might be a colour that has got, say, three or four tints that you rarely use and you've probably had for months and months on the back of the van, so they've hardened up and stiffened up a little bit. So, um, yeah, you're going to need to put a little bit more thinners in that. I like to get it so it's... Let's just move these. I like to get it so it's like a drip consistency, where it drips nicely. That's still a little bit thick. More thinners. That's quite good now. It's only a small gun, small fluid tip, so I want it quite, quite drippy, really. So we're going to make sure we strain it before it goes into the gun. It just catches any bits that might have gone in on, on your bottle. Out of your bottle, sorry, out of your tinter. Or any bits of crap that are on the top of the lid, they might have just fell in it. If you don't want them clogging the gun up or uh, getting blasted out onto the job. There we go, it's in the gum, ready for spraying. Sorted. So we're all done here. This is it painted up. Blending nicely with the original factory paint. That's why it's just handy having the paint system on board. And there it is, hope that helps.